Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about how to convert the given regular expression into finite automata. In our previous classes, we already discussed about uh, how we define finite automata for the given regular expression operators. If you are having union operator, how we define the finite automata. If you are having concatenation operator, how we define the finite automata. If you are having closure operator, how we define the finite automata. These things we already discussed in our previous classes. We use these basic things and we will construct a finite automata for the given regular expression please watch those classes and come back here the link for the playlist is provided in the description below coming to today's class let's take this example this is our example the regular expression r is equal to 0 star plus 1 1 here we already discussed about how to write regular expression for 0 star how to ex write expressions for 1 1 and how we have to write expressions for plus operator means union operator now let's write the expression separately and we will join all of them how to do that that we have to understand so let's take r1 is equal to 0 star means we are giving a separate expression for 0 star in order to write the finite automata for 0 star this is our finite automata so whenever you found 0 0 can be found any number of times that's why we go back and check again for 0 we go back and check again for 0 we go back and check again for 0 0 star will accept epsilon also that's why on initial state we are moving to final state without taking any input using epsilon moves we can move to finite state final state this is the regular expression for 0 star so finite automata for 0 star the same way second expression is taken as r2 is equal to 1 1 1 1 can be written as 1 followed by 1 this is the finite automata for the expression 1 1 if you want to combine these two that is what it says r1 plus r2 r1 plus r2 whenever you are having r operator this is what we are this is the model we are going to follow we are having r operator so let's take uh, the final expression is given as r is equal to r1 plus r2 so this one from we start from q0 this is the finite automata for 0 star this is the finite automata for 1 1 so using r operator we are joining either 0 star or 1 1 going to final state this is how we combine both the expressions so the final expression is written in finite automata like this the same way the next example is very important to understand so we'll take it as r is equal to 1 0 star whole star so this is what we want to convert into finite automata so take r1 is equal to 1 in order to accept the finite automata for expression 1 this is the finite automata so we take 1 we move to the final state using epsilon moves we are moving to final state the same way the second expression r2 is equal to 0 star we already discussed it. this is the finite automata for 0 star so 1 0 star whole star so how we do that how we do that r1 dot r2 whole star so take this is the final automata so one this is the automata for r1 means accepting one followed by zero star this can be repeated any number of times one zero star can be repeated any number of times that is what the expression says so if you want to repeat that that's why we are moving from here to one means after finding one zero star you can repeat this any number of times go back and again repeat this and one zero star whole star will accept epsilon also whole star means it can repeat one zero star any number of times or zero times also means epsilon without taking input also it can be accepted that's why q naught is written like this q naught to final state we joined with using epsilon move so this is how we we can write the finite automata for any regular expression whatever the regular expression you take we will have either a union operator plus operator plus union means plus operator concatenation operator or closure operator so we know how to combine all those things so we can write a finite automata for any regular expression hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you